Hi everyone, my name is Nadine, and I'm here to talk about some of the personal development that I've been working on recently. I'm reading a book called Feeling Good by Dr. David D. Burns, and it's helping me to feel happier through cognitive thinking. So this is where they found that your thoughts, negative thoughts, lead to negative emotions. So if you change your thoughts, then you can change your emotions. Um, so some of the things you talk about, there are mental distortions, so things that you think that cause you unhappiness, and there are 10 different types. All or nothing thinking, over-exaggeration, mental filtering, disqualifying, disqualifying the positive, jumping to conclusions, mind reading or forecasting, magnification, which is catastrophizing or minimalizing, emotional reasoning, should statements, labeling and mislabeling things, and also personalization. I'm going to go over six of them using two examples. Um, the six are the ones in bold and work really well for, for these thoughts. And I hope that in watching this you can change how you think and, and feel happier too. So the first example I have is, I didn't finish the 5K, I'm a failure. So obviously someone went, they ran a, a race and they didn't quite make it to the finish line, they're very upset. Um, so let's use three different distortions to see how they're thinking negatively and how that leads to unhappy thoughts. So the first distortion is all or nothing thinking. This is where you only have two options and it's either good or bad. This completely negates anything in the gray area and life is about the gray, it's, it's not so binary. Um, the second uh, distortion is disqualifying the positive. So they're only looking at the bad things, they didn't achieve their goal. And they're not saying, hey, I signed up for the raise. I trained for this raise. I actually tried. I did it. You know, I went for it. They're only focusing on the bad, which brings me to filtering. It's when you only look at one section. So then the way we'd resolve this. Okay, so first statement. I didn't finish the 5K. I'm a failure. And through going through the distortions and figuring out, hey, it's, there's a gray area, you know, I still did it, and I'm going to look at the good too. The new thought, a new feeling, would be, I completed 80% of the race. I'm so proud. Now, it's the same outcome in both instances. The race wasn't completed, yet you can see how this example with positive thinking leaves you feeling better and happier. So now I have another example to talk about three more of this type of negative distortion. Uh, the first, or the sentence is, if I don't lose weight, the love, my love will leave me. So this is someone who's feeling not so good about how they look and fearing that the one that, you know, they're in a relationship with was going to leave them because of that. So one of the dis big distortions that happens a lot, especially for me, is should. This feeling that you should do something or you ought to have done something. Um, this is a type of rule which is frequently taken from our environment and social norms, and it sets up an expectation. You know, I need to get an A. If I get a B, it's not all right. Uh, and this creates pressure. And often, if you don't achieve that goal, it, you feel guilty because you should have done it. Uh, and it also lowers self-esteem because you're not achieving your goals. Uh, so you can see a lot of reasons why should statements can lead you feeling unhappy. The next uh, distortion I want to talk about is magnification, and in this case I want to go over to catastrophizing. So this is where you uh, focus your energy on just one idea in one tray and you blow it out of proportion. Oh my goodness, I dropped the fork off my lunch tray, I can never eat again. Something that's, you know, so, it's, it's much smaller and you're just focusing on it more than it needs to. So in this case you're only looking at your appearance and you're only looking at your weight and saying, hey, this needs to change, that's the only reason they love me. Um, but there's a bunch of other things about you, your personality, what you like to do, how you help others, your spirit. There's so many other things than focusing on that one and blowing it up. Um, and the last one is jumping to conclusions. And this is a, a mind reading error. So this is where you're assuming something about somebody's thoughts, thinking, oh, he's going to do this if this doesn't happen. You don't actually know whether or not he would. You're just sort of assuming the worst case. And again, uh, also, if you have... Uh, Forecasting, that's when you predict what's going to happen. So you can see that these three distortions of the should, magnification, and jumping to conclusions lead to unhappy feelings. To resolve this and make it better, 
after applying the distortions and using that technique, um, the original sentence is, if I don't lose weight, my love will leave me. And the new thought, after thinking more positively, is, I don't have to be skinny. They love me for who I am and will support me. So those are two different outlooks on two different ways of thinking about the same thing. And the, the latter one just leaves you feeling good and feeling happy. And it's just because you had a different thought. So again, the book is Feeling Good by Dr. David D. Burns. It's helping me feeling happier, and I hope it helps you too. Bye.